Well, it looks like PayPal finally got on board and has opened the option to both send and receive crypto. They're actively allowing four different coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. Today, I'll show you exactly how to send and receive tokens from your PayPal account, as well as how to get past that dreaded PayPal crypto not available in my region error that a lot of people seem to be getting. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm David here with Crypto Tutorials, and while I am glad to share my blockchain knowledge, nothing is financial advice. Seek out somebody with a degree and a bunch of letters at the end of their name if you want that. So as soon as you enter into PayPal, you're gonna see You've got a little bit of crypto set up there if you have a balance and it's got crypto listed right here. Um, click on either one of them and they'll take you over. It'll show you the four different coins that they have available. Right now, the only one I'm currently holding a balance in here is Ethereum. So I am going to send some of my Ethereum out to my MetaMask wallet. I wanna send ETH and I'm gonna send it by entering a wallet address. So I entered the address that I wanna send it to and it's giving me how much US dollars. Let's say I'm gonna send 30 bucks worth of ETH. It'll do a quick security check. And then a quick thing for com confirming the transaction. I'm sending it, I'm paying $1.44 in gas fees. Um, there's my total amount that's gonna be sent and it estimates the delivery to be about 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and do a quick send. And there's all the details on the transaction and actually took about maybe less than a minute for this to show up. But right there it is on the blockchain. I've received the remaining balance of that. You can see I received 0.23. Um, let's do it the other direction. Let's go back and I'm gonna send a little bit of crypto into my account. So right now I've got a balance of 33.33. I wanna receive some Ethereum. So I'm gonna copy my address. This is my wallet address inside of PayPal. And just like any centralized exchange address. So I go over here and I say, I wanna send to this address. I tell it how much I wanna send 0.02 ETH, about 25 bucks worth. It's gonna tell me it's about 73 cents in gas. So it's a little cheaper sending it into PayPal than out of. I'm not sure if they charge more, they have a little bit of a fee probably on top of it, I'm guessing, um, but Yes, I'm willing to pay 71 cents to, to do this transfer. And right now you can see that it's pending on the blockchain. And boom, it's been confirmed on the blockchain. Let's go see if it's been confirmed within PayPal. And right there, it shows my crypto has been received. Details of it right there. Now I will tell you, it's gonna take probably a minute or two to update here and update on my dashboard. You're gonna notice the, the balances are going to remain the same. It just, uh, it's just what happens. PayPal is a little bit slow with updating it there. Um, you will get almost immediately this Ethereum activity to show you, boom, yes, you've moved the money in, but it's gonna take a little while before it actually shows up in your balance. And there you go. It took, like I said, about a minute, but, but now my balance is updated. It shows that I've got $59 in Ethereum. Um, the remaining portion that I sent in has arrived. And like I said, not too big of a deal, pretty inexpensive fees. It's actually cheaper than moving money. A lot of the time is just with, with regular ways through PayPal. You have that option now as well. All right, well, I hope that helps everybody out. Lastly, I mentioned what I was gonna help you with in case you hit that annoying error of not being in the right region and able to access it. Well, it looks like PayPal is basing this error on your primary address, not your IP location. If you can go in here to your settings and set your primary address, you can see my primary address right now is listed in Indiana. I actually am living in Hawaii. This is an old address. Uh, it's my parents' address. It was in there from 20 years ago. <laughs> it's right here next to my, my old Hotmail address. Um, but you know, I was being denied access because I was here in Hawaii. So I switched the address to an Indiana one. And you know, I was expecting I was gonna have to hook up a VPN and make my IP look like I'm somewhere else. But really I didn't. Just like magic, all the buttons appeared and everything works. So no complicated steps, nothing very difficult. All you need to do is have an address that you can switch to as your primary that's in a location. Now, be careful. I'm sure this is against some of the terms of service. I never took the time to read them, but I'm sure there's a rule that says you're not supposed to do this. Nonetheless, doesn't mean you can't do it. 
All right, just be smart and be safe. One thing that you don't have to do to be very careful is using free tokens. And yeah, these are really available and they're really valuable. Just go to getmyfreecrypto.com if you wanna learn more. I have an entire masterclass on how to get access to the newest airdrops and I'm giving it away for free right now. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments down below. I know this is something new PayPal just added, so it's cool to be able to show you it. But if you're just getting started in crypto, PayPal may not be the best option for you to store your tokens. Uh, there's a lot of really important reasons. They've come to light again recently with the destruction of FTX. I'm gonna go over all of them. You just need to follow the video right up here.